beautiful people, it's Yana, and I'm back today with yet another video. And once again, we are gonna be diving into the world of the dark web. You guys already know the dark web is full of so many messed up things. It's basically like the back rooms of the internet. And today, we're gonna be watching a video titled, We Bought an Egg Off the Dark Web. I've never heard anything crazier in my life. I have no idea where this video is gonna go. But knowing that it involves the dark web, I imagine it's gonna take a dark turn. So if you guys are ready for this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So for this episode, Chester found an auction site on the dark web where you can bid on rare items. Now I'm not really sure if the stuff on this site is worth anything, and I think it might be a scam, but tonight we're gonna sit down and check it out. So Chester found this website on the dark web that auctions things off to people, and clearly they're gonna take a little trip to that website and see what they can get for themselves. Comment down below would you guys ever buy anything from a website from the dark web? I would never take that risk myself. You just never know what you're gonna get. Okay, let's check out what's on here. Bro, what is this? I don't think the stuff on here is legit. Dude, what are you talking about? Everything on here is rare. It could be worth a lot of money. Okay, so let's look to see what's worth so much. Reading these items here, we have the world's sharpest knife, mystery car, mystery egg, 50 miles of tunnel under NYC, organic life-based watch, napkins used, nail clippings Hannah, 30 pounds rat hair, and the hurt stick. Who would ever need 30 pounds of rat hair? Or a stranger's nail clippings? That is so disgusting. I guess it's kind of a gamble, like you don't know if you're gonna get something normal or something really like creepy or possessed. It's a luck of the draw type of thing. And I really hope luck is on their side. Bro, click on that stick, it looks cool. It's a stick. The description of the hurt stick says this stick was recovered in 803 BC and is a rare type of petrified wood found in the deepest forests of Yugoslavia. Prolonged exposure to this stick will cause unbearably painful headaches. Loss of bowel control is also reported by those who have been exposed. Dude, let's bid on this! Huh? No, you heard that. It's gonna make us sick. Well, let's just bid like a dollar or something. I don't want this thing in my home. So basically, this is just a stick of really bad luck. It makes you sick, it gives you headaches. Why would you even want it? Literally nothing good would come from getting that stick. Well, let's look at that egg. That looks pretty sweet. How is that sweet? Well, hold on. Dude, what kind of animal do you think laid this? I don't know. Bro, it's probably not even real. Well then, read what it says. No. Bro, come on. No, why don't you read it? You can read, right? All right, I'll read it. This is one of the largest discovered eggs of the 21st century. The species contained is unknown, but if you place your ear against the shell, you will hear a heartbeat and it wiggling around in embryonic fluid. That sounds disgusting. All right, you guys, so this egg seems to be a legit thing. Supposedly, it's one of the largest eggs discovered in the 21st century. So you know a cute little baby chick is not popping out of this. It's probably some sort of like weird alien monster creature. To be fair though, the egg seems like a better choice than the stick. It's still pretty risky though. You don't know what's gonna come out of there. Let's see if they decide to go through with the purchase. Bro, what do you think could have laid this thing? Do you think it's like some sort of bird, like a seagull? Why are you so interested in this? This is garbage. Or maybe like a whale? A whale? Can we just like stop look? Hold on, the oven's beeping. I gotta go take the croissants out. Bro, no, wait, what are you doing? I can't, they're gonna brown. Listen, if you're gonna bid on anything on this site, bid on the car, but no more than $300. In case it's a scam. All right, fine. You gotta get those croissants out of the oven at the perfect time because who wants to eat a burnt croissant? However, I do have a feeling that while he is away doing that, Chester is gonna be up to some sneaky business on that site. I bet he's gonna bid on the egg. I mean, it does look pretty cool, but at a certain point, that egg is gonna have to hatch and you're gonna have to deal with whatever is gonna come out of there. I don't really think this is worth much. Uh, I guess I'll bid this. To be honest, I'm a lot more drawn to something else here. There's only three minutes left to bid. I know Parker probably won't like this, but I gotta bid. This is too big of an opportunity. 
He just bid $15,000 on this egg. Imagine paying that much money for a single egg. Parker is not gonna be happy with this at all. Okay, so it's been a while since we've been on that site and I have good news. We didn't win the car, but we won the egg. I just got texting it was dropped off. Let's check it out. So I still haven't told Parker I bid on the egg, so I'm just gonna see it myself. Here we go. Yo, what? Whoa, this thing is huge. It's cold out, I gotta bring it inside. I expected it to arrive in some sort of package, but then I remembered this is from the dark web. And as we know, their shipping and packaging is still not quite there yet. But oh my god, that egg is a lot bigger than I expected. That is one large egg right there. Okay, so I got the egg in. Look how beautiful this thing is. Hey, what do you got there? There's nothing. Just stop. Dude, that better not be what I think it is. Is that the egg from the site? Bro, you don't understand. Why would you possibly order this thing? Bro, but look how big it is. There's gotta be something amazing inside. There's nothing in there. You got scammed. And how much did you bid on this? Bro, not that much. Just help me find a way to keep it warm. No, I didn't want to buy this in the first place. It's trash. Just leave it down here and we'll throw it out in the morning. He is really not happy with that egg in the house. I bet he's gonna be really mad when he finds out how much Chester bid on the egg. But I mean, the egg is already there. You might as well see it through to the end. I need to make sure it's warm. I really hope he doesn't drop it because that would kind of just ruin the entire thing. But at least you'd have scrambled eggs for breakfast for like a month. All right, so it's been a bit since the egg arrived and I just finished setting this up. As you can see, I put these lights up and tried to build a little nest for it. I'm still worried that this thing isn't warm enough. It's still cold from outside. If only I could get it warmer. Bro, what the hell are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing bro. What the hell is he actually doing? Damn, he really likes this egg. I was just, what the hell did you do to our basement? Wait, is that the egg? Why would you bring that down here? Dude, you don't understand. Listen, this thing is freezing. You gotta help me warm it up. No, I'm not doing that. Why are you so obsessed with this thing? Listen, I want all this stuff gone by the morning. Bro, no, I can't do that. What about the baby inside? Dude, this is just getting weird. Get rid of it. Wait, don't leave. I need your help. I kind of feel bad for the egg. You can tell Chester just wants to take care of it, but Parker wants that egg far gone. Which to be fair, I understand because we don't really know what's inside of it. We could be thinking, oh, it's just a cute little egg, but there could be a whole alien in there. So we still gotta tread carefully. You never know what's gonna come out. Okay, so it's been a while since I checked on the egg and I was about to go to sleep, but I started hearing this weird noise. Listen, I gotta check on this thing again. What the hell? I guess those noises must have came from somewhere else. They were not coming from somewhere else. They were coming from inside the egg. I think whatever's in the egg is trying to get out. And by the noises I'm hearing, it doesn't really sound that great. Wait, I have an idea.
that was an entire hand inside of that egg. What is going on right now? I did not expect that. I think Parker was right. We gotta find a different place for this thing. I think I'm gonna try to sleep now. I'll film the eggs some more in the morning. Before going to sleep, I feel like he should have at least locked the basement because if that egg hatches overnight, they're all screwed. The dark web will never fail to surprise you and scare the crap out of you. The egg is hatching. Comment down below, what do you think is inside that egg? Because we're about to find out. I don't really have any guesses on what it could be. I guess maybe some human alien hybrid situation, but honestly, it could be anything at this point. It does seem to be some sort of human, so I don't understand why it hatched out of an egg, but clearly there's something wrong there, and he now seems to be crawling out of the basement onto the main floor of the house, which is where they're sleeping, which is not good at all. I feel like they're gonna get attacked, and I don't think it's gonna end well. They definitely should have gotten rid of the egg on time. <laughs> Did you guys see what he was doing with his jaw? He kept clattering his teeth really hard. Okay, that is really, really creepy. Okay, so it's extremely late right now. I've been trying to sleep, but I can't stop thinking about that egg Chester brought in. I feel like I have to check on it. He is in for a very big surprise right now. That little egg has hatched a long time ago. Why is this door open? Oh my god, he is in his bed next to him under the covers. That is insanely terrifying. I hate that. He's not even noticing that he's right next to him. Oh my god, okay, things are getting really intense. <laughs> thing ever to wake up to. Oh no, you guys, they really gotta get out of there and fast. Oh. 
Wait, why is sister screaming? What do you want? Mama! Get away! Get away! Chester, what's wrong? Who is that? Did he come out of the egg? I don't know. Dude, I don't want him in the house. What do you want me to do? We gotta get rid of it. What's he doing? <laughs> what over here? never seen something this crazy in my life. So this person that just hatched out of the egg is running around wreaking havoc on the house and saying mama doesn't love him. I bet he thinks that Chester is its mom because he was the one taking care of the egg. That got them in a very sticky situation. Bro, what? What happened? Is he okay? Bro, was that old man inside of the egg this whole time? Well, dude, we should go check on him. There was a big jump. He could be hurt. Bro, no. Why would we do that? We have to. He thinks I'm his mom. Listen, I'm going to lock the doors. If you go after that guy, I'm not going to let you back in. Bro, please. Let's find him. All right, you guys, so the old man inside of the egg escaped through the window and he has not come back to the house since, but Chester has been patiently waiting for him to come back. I bet you those two have some sort of like a mother-son attachment going on, especially because he was taking care of the egg and making sure it was okay. But you guys, this was an absolutely insane video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.